Finally, I finished my first Masri sketchbook, and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of it. Not a little, but you know, a whole tour of the whole book. Buckle up, we're gonna go for a crazy ride. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks. Let's get started. This is a Masri mixed media sketchbook. I started this sketchbook in October of 2016 and worked in it until the end of July of 2017. So I really worked in it kind of sporadically. There's a mix of what is in here. You can kind of see how my style changes as the sketchbook moves forward. Here, I am near the end of my Inktober. Inktober is where you do an ink drawing every day for the whole month of October. When I was doing my Inktober challenge, I saw a lot of improvement in my work. And and after that, I decided to do my 365 project where I am drawing every day for this whole year. I feel like I've grown so much since the beginning of this year. So this piece is older and this one is within the past couple months. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I see myself being a little more confident in this piece. And this one, I'm like, I hope it turns out good. And I see kind of scared that it's going to turn out badly. I tried to decide what I was going to do with this one. I was just going with the flow and adding in colors that I thought would look nice. And I was like, hmm. I think it will turn out well and if you guys can't see it, I was a little more confident when I made this piece. So since I did work in this sketchbook so sporadically, there are a lot of cover-ups in here. I actually really like doing cover-ups. I think they're kind of fun. In these next couple pages, I'm working on doing tighter line work. I decided that I wanted to do less loose work and try and do tight line work and then color it in afterwards because I've always done coloring and then doing line work on top. I was trying to improve on my line work. I didn't last long with that. I gave up trying to practice my line work like these. It's just, it turned my process to be really slow and I think it lost a little bit of life. I don't know, it's cute, but it's just not for me. I enjoyed doing it and I'm glad I tried to do it, but you know. So what else I was trying to do in this sketchbook was not use black for line work. So I was using pink and blue and a lot of it I was using this wine colored pen I got, but I haven't really gone back to using black line work. So yeah, I now I feel like black is really, really intense and I don't like it as much. I've been continuing experimenting with different colors. Like lately I've been liking to do blue lining, like this is more recent. So this piece and this one were kind of my last attempt at doing line work and coloring them in. And I really liked doing these pieces. I liked the result and then I decided to quit that technique. So yeah, I still like them. They're still cute. There's some pieces I don't really like and I use for cover-ups for other pieces. I like even less. That's not a good look. These are just okay to me. Her lips turned out weird and I didn't really like how the colors turned out. I think these flowers are nice though and I like this kitty. So I decided I wanted to practice doing faces, so some of them I made up and then some of them I relied more on reference, but I tried to stylize them, if that's a, the right term, but I tried to stylize them. <laughs> So I was also trying to experiment with different color schemes, which I think was super, super helpful for me to do kind of repetitive work and then try out different colors with them to see how they react. Um, this piece I did right before I went to Chicago really, really fast, like the morning I was gonna leave and I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, this piece was inspired by the movie Your Name. It's really good if you have not seen it. I would highly suggest you see it because I love it. So this is more recent and this is older. In this sketchbook, I really like watercoloring on this side of the paper, but this side is really smooth. And I don't like watercoloring on it, but I do like using different media on it. When I was working in it, I could just kept working on this side because I wanted to watercolor and then I filled in this side later. Just a heads up. There is a speed paint up of this piece and this piece on my channel. I will put links in the description if you want to watch me make those. This is the worst spread in the whole book for me. Her head is so small. I don't know what I was doing or how I made this decision. And then this girl's face, her eyes are like five miles apart. And I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're just gonna leave it. Here's some otters. I'm a really big fan of otters. There's two otters at the Cincinnati Zoo that I love and their names are Sugar and Nero. I think they got a new otter I haven't seen yet, so I gotta go to the zoo soon. I don't know what this animal is, but it's cute. I think it 
it kind of looks like red panda, but it also kind of looks like a Pomeranian. Um, for this piece, this was an interesting piece for me. I hadn't really done the light haired girls, so, but I like how it turned out. I like her lips. I did this doodle at the hotel in Chicago and then I taped it in with some washi tape I got from Tokyo. Can you tell I got it from Tokyo? Is it obvious? This is kind of where my work is kind of right now-ish. I'm using more gouache in addition to watercolor and I'm still experimenting with different color schemes. So this piece is really recent. I got these pastel gouaches in Chicago and I love them. But yeah, I like this piece. I think where my line art is at right now is good. After switching from using a pen to painting in my line work, it just feels more lively and like there's depth behind the line. I really like this piece, so I like this color scheme. I want to revisit this sometime. I like these blues and this peachy color in the pink. I think it's cute. Here's a cardinal. I don't like... I don't like how it turned out, but I do like the colors. I like the warm tones with the blue, but I don't like, like the piece. So this is more recent. I think this is my last girl with hair everywhere page in this book. This is part of my mermaid series. I just don't like this at all. I don't like this like, background. I don't think the composition is very good. Like the textures don't work. I don't like it. I don't like this page, but you can't win them all. Here's some squirrels or chipmunks. I don't know, are these squirrels or chipmunks? Cause I guess it could be a squirrel chipmunk hybrid. We're gonna go with that. Here's my puffin. I have a speed paint of this up on my channel too. I'll put a link to that in the description. And I also have prints available of this in my shop. So this is a good example of me when I feel like a piece isn't going that well when I'm painting it and then I'm like, let's add dark colors everywhere and it just gets darker and darker and darker and then I get to the end and I'm like, oh, that whole like dark technique I was using did not work and it did not help. So maybe something I should work on. I don't like how this page turned out. And here's the last page with some kitties. I have some business cards in here, and then this is a little postcard from a shop I went to in Chicago. And that's it. That is all. Oh wait, here's another sketch. I didn't know this was here, but here it is. Hi, it's me again. Uh, thanks for watching my sketchbook tour. If you want to get a Mossery sketchbook, I have a code to give you 15% off your order until the end of August. So just use my name with 15 at the end. I will put it on the screen somewhere and you can get 15% off your order. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye. Bye.